okay so we're gonna go ahead and continue on our suitcase model here and we need to go ahead and import our our hinge so that we can attach this to to the suitcase and see where we need to go ahead and make our cuts and then just simply scaling it and, and trying to place it in the in the right place so that we can get this suitcase looking like it should I'll have to pull this down a little bit here and we'll just duplicate this over and we're basically just going to detach one side of the model here And I want to make that edge a little bit, uh, the cut on that suitcase a little bit off center here. And that's why I added that edge there. And I'm just simply going to extract these faces from the rest of the model. So now whenever we go to basically extrude the edges, it's going to look like there's somewhat of a hole and it looks like it's two pieces put together. And you can see where I'm doing it at 0.001 and that's probably not enough so we should probably go up to 0.03 and that should leave us enough of, um, enough of an area where it's going to look like it has been separated. We just need to go ahead and scale these edges in and down here. Or extrude these edges in and down here. I just want to be careful as I don't want to do too much of a scale in and scale down. And I'm not going to be modeling the inside of the suitcase since you know we technically aren't going to be seeing the inside of the suitcase. Um, if you want to, you know, be my guest and go ahead and, and model the inside of the suitcase. And if you want to put clothes in there, you can go ahead and do that too. And you can see there where it's going to leave us some, some decent room to actually look like a, an actual suitcase like it's been, you know, cut in two. And I'm just adding the edge loops here so that it's going to re um, retain its shape whenever we go to smooth the model. And I'm just checking it for for the smooth quality here. I'll just add the, the one to its own layer so I can add the edge loops a little bit easier. And just do one in the middle and that should be okay. And so far that's you know it's looking pretty good for our suitcase. go ahead and group those hinges here and duplicate them so that we can use them on the bottom
I'm not going to take the keyholes out simply because, you know, we just aren't going to see it, so that's really no big deal to me. And it's just going to save us a little bit of time later on down the road. And now I'm going to go ahead and remake the leather um, <coughs> parts for our suitcase here. And you can see where sometimes that happens with the with the Maya selection issue, where if you have one set of faces selected and try to select another set of faces next to it, you tend to get a little bit of selection error, and that's okay. So we'll just go ahead and do it manually, since you know there aren't too many faces. Just make sure we get all the inside faces as well. And don't select anything that we don't need. And now we can simply just duplicate those faces. Scale them up. A and extrude them. Uh, you can see where I missed the one face. I'll just go ahead and fix that real quick. It is a little bit frustrating to get that selection uh, mistake, but that's okay. I mean, you can just go ahead and fix it as I go along here. And there we go. We got the faces selected that we need. I'll go ahead and just combine them and do the edge extrude at one time. Just scale it up just a little bit so that we can add a little bit of extra thickness here. thicken that up a little bit, make it a little bit wider before I actually go ahead and extrude that edge. And I'll just extrude in and extrude down. sometimes the the skill tool actually works a little bit better and then you just scale it in and there you go there is the leather part for our suitcase here but we need to also remember we're gonna have to go ahead and and make the handle and that's looking pretty good and I need to add an edge loop there on the edge to make sure it's going to re retain its shape on the inside here.
I'm basically just trying to match the edge flow on the other side and you can see where it's a little bit time consuming and uh, just have to make some some minor edits and stuff and right there it's looking you know pretty much like a suitcase And now I'm going to go ahead and model the handle of our suitcase here. And I'll just model one, pretty much, you know, just one half of it and just duplicate it on the other side or mirror it on the other side. And I'll just extrude along the curve there to go ahead and basically just make the handle for our suitcase here. And just have to add the the right amount of divisions. just have to edit it a little bit to get that shape the way we want. And I'm just simply duplicating a face on the suitcase there so that uh, we can actually add a, another metal piece for the, for the handle. And it's just simply duplicate and extrude, duplicate and extrude. And add a couple extra edge loops so that it's going to retain and hold that shape whenever I go to smooth the model. I'll have to move this in just a little bit here. And now I'm going to go ahead and make the hinge for the suitcase is handle and it doesn't have to be like I said 100% detailed so let's go ahead and make something that I think is going to look like a, a hinge for the handle and as you can see I'm just using a, a poly cylinder And I'm simply just going to you know, basically use the, the extrude tool here. We'll go in, we'll go up, we'll go out, we'll go back up, and 
have to move this a little bit closer to the handle after we add a little bit of edge loops here. So it's going to retain that shape. That's looking pretty good. We'll just basically duplicate everything over to the other side. And that's basically our hinge for our suitcase there, handle. And do a little bit of editing, editing here on the handle part. move these hinges in next to the handle so it's a little bit closer do the same on the other side and as you can see that's you know pretty much our suitcase model and now I'm going to add just uh, some extra geometry here for Maybe some travel or tourism stickers on our suitcase, and I just basically duplicated one face, and I'm just gonna rotate and scale them to to fit our suitcase, and then I'll just go ahead and duplicate them for the other side as well. just takes a little bit of vertex editing to get these to match the underlying geometry of the suitcase a little bit better. And I'll go ahead and just edit the vertexes here and add a little bit of extra geometry. go ahead and duplicate those over so it'll be pretty much the same on the other side as well and as you can see it doesn't take that long to go ahead and make at least a decent looking model of our suitcase along with the stickers and when we go to texture this is going to look you know pretty good and hopefully it'll render really well just trying to edit these vertices so that they're going to match the geometry just a little bit better. It's definitely not the easiest shape in the world to match. It just takes a little bit of, a little bit of editing. I'm just double checking it to make sure it looks okay. And go ahead and duplicate that over to the other side here. And here we go. There is pretty much our suitcase modeled. Um, it's not ready to go in the car yet because we still have to make the luggage rack and stuff. And we'll be doing that as well.